Hello everyone. Uh, this is one of the few times I'm going to be on this camera where I'm actually not super happy. Sadly today, in a few hours, I'm getting on an airplane and leaving the beautiful Isle of Barbados. Um, I've had a wonderful time here as you guys have seen. Uh, there's more videos coming. I don't think you've seen those yet. But it's been absolutely fabulous. Uh, I love home. Do not get me wrong, I'm going to enjoy being back and seeing all of you guys. But if I could transplant all of you guys and put you on Barbados, I would stay here forever. Absolutely. Uh, I've met people here. That's one thing about Barbados. Barbados is beautiful, as you can see behind me. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Gorgeous place, tropical, warm all the time. None of the problems that we have back in the States, none of that stuff. But... The thing that really makes Barbados amazing is the people. I have met people from the poorest to the richest, from wardens to cooks, from chefs to street cleaners, and universally they have been absolutely polite and nice to not only me, but everybody that I've seen them encounter. So just for instance, walking down here, I have to cross a fairly busy road, Highway 2. Um, every time I get there, traffic stops on both sides and they wait for me to cross. There's no honking, there's no pro well, there's no bad honking because in Barbados, a honk on your horn can mean, A, please get out of the way. It can also mean, how are you doing? It can mean, I'm going around a curb. It can just mean, hi. Or it could just mean, have a good day. I mean, that, but none of the stuff where you're, that people lay on the horns like they do in the state. Uh, essentially, this island doesn't know how to be rude, and that's what really makes Barbados amazing, is that this entire place, the people are fantastic, and you just instantly feel like you're part of the island. They do everything they can. Walking past people, everybody says, have a good day, good evening, good uh, welcome, all those kind of things. So, as you can imagine, it's going to be a hard adjustment for me to get back into the States and not want to do all that stuff. So you know what? I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna be polite and nice to everybody all the time and who knows? Maybe some of that will wear off. When, when we have disputes back in the States, if we did what the Barbadian people do to each other daily, I think that maybe we would all be a lot happier and be able to resolve those disputes without being angry at each other all the time. Um, for instance, in our little area with, our, with the problem with the dam, I think that if we would just be a little more polite, even while we're angry about things, things might get done a little faster. They might get done a little nicer. People may actually want to help each other if we did that stuff. So that's what I've learned coming to Barbados. Besides it being beautiful here, besides all that stuff, the people here, they just know how to get along they actually really do love each other and i think every american could easily learn from that you all should come to barbados not because it's beautiful not because it's in the caribbean not because you'll get a nice tan but because you could learn something about how to treat other people and that's why i'm sad i'm leaving because i still have plenty more to learn about how to treat other people and I think that I'll be coming back just to learn those lessons. So anyway, this is Chris from the 365 in my final report from Barbados, sadly, wishing you all a good day, a good morning, a good evening, a good afternoon, and just saying perhaps we all need to love each other a little more. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this entire trip. What follows will be some interviews and some general stuff, but I think that you've gotten the basic message that I got from Barbados with this little clip. So thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And while you do that, love each other, man. Ah, the last pan of what we call our beach, just off of Highway 2 and Carlton Road in beautiful Barbados in St. James. Hey, I finally know all the names here. Oh my God. I am right next to, pan us back a little slowly. So right there is St. Alba's Church, right through those bushes. That's how they find places. If you ever come to Barbados, look for St. Alba's Church. You'll find our beach here, right here, waiting for you.
and hopefully waiting for me. This is Shutters on Carlton Road, Lower Carlton, St. James in Barbados. This place has been home to us for nine days. It is an amazing place. So obviously from its names, it's called Shutters because as you can see, every single window in the house has some kind of shutter that you can open up fully or open up partially to let the breeze through. And it's amazing how much cooler it is when you do that. This house has three bathrooms, two with bathtubs. I'm sorry, one with a bathtub, two showers, that's right. Um, one, two, three, three full bedrooms plus the, a huge living room inside, a pool in the back, a great big rear yard. I'll show you all that stuff right now, but it's amazing. We, we, we rented this from a very nice lady uh, for about $1,500 for nine days. So this has been a great value as well as a beautiful place. It's run off solar. It has solar powered water. Um, everything is state of the art, LED, all kinds of great stuff. So let me show you a little bit of why I loved staying here. First, I mean, you've got every bit of the Caribbean flowers and gardening that you could ever want right here. Then, as we go inside to, I'm sure, a house that will be full of sleepy teenagers and travelers as we're getting ready to hop on a plane and take off back to the United States. And they locked me out, so I can't get in right now. I don't know why they would lock me out, but they did. Here we go, that's Phyllis. So this is the main great room. It has a couple fans in it. Right off this side to my right is, <laughs> is Deja, but then also this very spacious bedroom on the lower floor. Then we, the, the each bedroom has air conditioning, which when I looked at it at first, I thought that was a little air conditioning unit. That thing will make it freezing cold in here if you shut the shutters. So more of the great room here and a bunch of teenagers. The house does not come with these teenagers, even though I wouldn't mind giving them to you. <laughs> then in here, we have the kitchen. Oh, and Eudora. The keeper of shuttles, how's it, shutters, how's it going? Good. And we got a nice little washroom in here. I'm doing a video to show the place off. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys out the back door so you can see this amazing backyard. So, it comes with a pool. There's a freshwater shower in the back that runs off rainwater. There's these great table furnishings here, the back, also, on this side, you have a grill. You have banana trees and every bit of perfect tropical landscaping that you could possibly ever want. The pool is fairly large, spacious, spacious and very clean. And then the back here, I'm gonna walk back here. You got lounge chairs. And as I said before, we're getting ready to leave, so I'm gonna grab my laundry off this very convenient laundry line. There's no dryer here, but you absolutely do not need a dryer because the nice tropical weather does that all for you. So here is a view from the backyard. You can see it's a two-story house, so I'll take you up to the second story now. So on the on the right side, let me see if it's on this side, there's a bedroom there with two twin beds and those doors, all the doors open completely up if you want to, or you can open up just the shutters. And then on the other side is another bedroom with, uh, it's kind of the master bedroom with a single bed. So let's go up there and take a look at all that. Oh, I forgot to mention downstairs there, there's a bathroom with a tub in there. Let's go back inside. We'll go through the other doors here. Just kind of walk you around. Okay. There's a glass table there that Sharon just found with her knee. <laughs> okay, going upstairs. 
So all the lighting here is either LED or incandescent bulbs. Let me turn that on so we get a little better view of this room. So upstairs here is one of the bedrooms. Let me find the light switch, which I always seem to be missing. There it is. So here is, I'm sorry I can't back off the view anymore, but here's one of the master bedrooms. Slept in by a teenager. Slept in by a teenager, that's why it's so rumpled and messy. We're gonna fix that in the next couple minutes. Then here, oh, there is, I'm sorry, I have to correct myself, there's two tubs. So here is the other bathroom with its tub. Dual sinks. Then this is what I consider the master bedroom with its own built-in shower area. And as you can see, let me show them demonstrate. Actually, I'll do it out here. Demonstrate to you the shutters. So, yeah. Will you open that one up? Yep, I'm coming. I was picking stuff up and So here's the outside. We can open the door up. Got it. It's locked up tight though. I got it, okay. So you can open the doors. They have locks on the tops and the bottom. Which There you go. Locks in the tops and the bottoms. And then this opens out into a very, very spacious porch shared with the bedroom next to it. See right there. You got a wonderful view of the garden. You can see completely down to the ocean from here. And the ocean is literally um, a five minute walk down there in the most beautiful beach you are going to ever see lays right down there next to St. Alma's Church. Alvin. Alba's Church, next to St. Alba's. Alvin's? Alvin. Alvin's Church, St. Alvin's Church. I have a terrible time with that name for some reason. St. Alvin's Church. So there's the pool from up above here, the neighbors and some of the local pigeons, and just a general view. I'll just kind of pan you guys around of the view you get on this wonderful balcony here. And you all the way around. Okay. See some of the neighbors. Yes. So let's go back in. We'll go back in through. Yeah, did you close this one? That one's closed. Okay. We'll go back in through the same room we came from. And come in here. This is the other master bedroom. You see it's got twin beds, very, very high ceilings in this whole top story. I love the shutters. Let me show you how this works. So you can actually pop these shutters completely open. So let me see if I can do this while holding the camera. So this shutter will come open like that and then there's a piece down here that will hold it, that will hold it open for you. So. So on and so forth. And then this, then the same as the other one, opens onto the back porch. With the same incredible view. So that is shutters in a nutshell. I highly recommend, if you come to Barbados, to rent this place. I will put links in the description including everyone's names and every way that you have to get hold of the very nice lady to uh, rent this. I don't know if she wants her name disclosed on YouTube, so I'm just gonna give you her, her regular site. And I will see you guys all later. I'll leave you with this little view of where I'm standing at right now. I really appreciate you watching. It'll be great to see, I'd love to see one of the viewers come here in Barbados and rent this place and see what your guys' opinion of it was. Thank you for watching. So Phyllis, it's our last time, day, last few hours in Barbados. So what did you like about the whole trip? Not just Barbados, but the, your two favorite things from the Barbados and the cruise. 
I liked from Barbados the friendliness, friendliness of the people. Um, it was easy to get around the public transportation while very crazy when you're not used to it. Um, was a lot of fun, so that was good. Okay. Um, and the cruise, gosh, what did I like about the cruise? I liked getting to visit all the different places we went to. Um, the beaches were amazing. Food wasn't bad on the boat. Yeah. Okay, what two things did you dislike about either Barbados or the cruise? Or did you dislike two things? I... How about this? Better can't... question. What would you do different if you came again? To Barbados? I don't think there's much I would do different. Okay. Um, no, it was, it was super cool. It was super awesome to get around and to do the stuff we wanted to do. I might like a better map. So we knew a little more of how to get, where places were, maybe a bus route map, because okay. we didn't have really any idea of how the buses ran. We just kind of winged it, which okay. was fun too. Um, as far as the cruise goes, um, I don't, gosh, that's tough. There are things I liked about each place, but there are things I didn't like. For example, St. Lucia, I thought it was beautiful. I loved the tour we took, but the people, the vendors were very pushy, and I was not fond of the pushiness of the vendors. Okay. So there's a little bit of difference there, too. Okay, would you come again, and would you recommend it to a friend? Oh, I would absolutely come again, and I would absolutely recommend it to a friend. All right, thank you. Yep. Hi, Sharon. So it's the last few minutes in Barbados. Uh, what did you like about Barbados and or the cruise? I loved the house. Oh, the house. The shutters? The shutters. Okay. What did you like about the house? I liked that it was beautiful and... Relaxing and calming, and I love the pool. It was just, just nice. Okay. Well, what did you? What would you do different if you came again? What? Mm, good question. I don't know. Uh, I I enjoyed everything. I enjoyed the cruise. I I loved the marlin, and I loved the shrimp down on at what was it called? Uh, that was, I always forget that, the Sea Walk Restaurant, I think is what it's called, down at Waystons. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you like uh, Jefferson's Marlin here. Oh, I love Jefferson's Marlin. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, that's the Carlton Variety Store. Yeah. So, uh, okay, would you come again, and would you recommend it to others? I would recommend it to others, yes. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning, Mr. Slack, or should I say Bass Attack Slack. Um, so, last few minutes in Barbados, what did you what did you like about Barbados and or the cruise? Uh, I like, like the beaches most about Barbados and the people. People are really nice. And the house. The house is super nice. Okay, cool. And um, what did you, what would you do different if you came again? Uh, I would bring more money <laughs> and just more money. <laughs> Just more money. Yeah. Okay. So was it super expensive or did you not bring a lot of money? I didn't bring that much money. I gotcha. Okay. So uh, would you come again and would you recommend it to somebody else? Most definitely. Yes. Okay. And would you recommend it to somebody else? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Deja. So it's the last few minutes in Barbados. Uh, what things did you like the best about Barbados and or the uh, cruise? And or the cruise? Yeah. Mm. Uh, snorkeling. You like snorkeling with any particular island or snorkeling in general? Snorkeling in general. Snorkeling in general, okay. And uh, anything else that you liked about Barbados or the cruise? The beaches. The beaches, of course, those were awesome. Okay, so uh, what would you do different if you could do it right now? Bring more money. Bring more money? Did you bring a ton of money or just a little money? Just a little. Just a little money, so you bring more money. Um, would you, uh, did you get sunburnt or anything crazy like that while you were here? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Would you would you put on a little more sunscreen? Nope. Just, nope. You're just good enough. Good enough. Okay. Good enough. And would you recommend it to anyone else and or come again? Yeah. Both. Both. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. David, our acrobat here. Uh, so, what did you like about Barbados and or the cruise? Probably the water. The With water it being so clear and warm, it's just nice. Any particular place or all of them? None of them? What? The island where we did the backflips off of the pier, so that, that was nice. St. Kitts, St. that Kitts. was. Yeah, yeah. St. Kitts. Okay, awesome. Uh, what would you do different if you came again? More sunscreen. 
more sunscreen because David is also our most crispy of all the people who came with us today. Okay, and would you recommend this to your family, friends, other people back back home? Yeah. And would you come again yourself? Yes. Oh, how come? Because the people here, they're so nice and it's just a beautiful place. I mean, we have coconuts right there <laughs> and bananas right there. That's awesome. Okay, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Angel. Morning. So, so, it's the last few minutes in Barbados. You have one thing you could tell people about Barbados and or the cruise. What was your favorite thing? The water. The water, overall. Uh, in Barbados, or any of the islands in particular, or everywhere? St. Thomas and Barbados. You like the water in St. Thomas and Barbados, okay. And uh, what would you do different if you could right now to make the trip more enjoyable? Bring a waterproof case. Bring a waterproof case. Oh, that's right. Uh, did Miss Day? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Angel uh, managed to drop her phone in the surf. So, like my drone, it died. So, a waterproof case. And did you have enough money? Yeah, but I feel like it could have brought more. You could have brought a little more money. So that sounds like a general consensus. Okay. And would you recommend this to your family and friends to come again? Yeah. And how about yourself? Would you come again? Yeah. All right. Except for not the cruise. Except for oh, you wouldn't do the cruise. Well, it's too much when you stay a week and then you get on a cruise. Okay, that's good to know. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Mr. Dante Saraga, love of my life. How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> Dante right now is a little sick. He's, uh, he's the only one who caught cruise ship crud on this trip. But I'm going to ask him the same question. So you're in beautiful Barbados. It's the last few hours. Uh, what did you like best about the whole trip? Um, the Barbados and or the cruise? Um, probably the beaches here in Barbados. Beaches here in Barbados. Yeah. Okay. And um, what would you do differently if you could? Uh, not get sick. Would <laughs> not be get cool. sick. Bring some um, antibiotics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We didn't do much on one of the islands. I can't remember which one. The one with the airport. Uh, that, that would be us. that would be St. Martin and yeah. Mo, um, Maho Beach. We didn't do much there, and I right. wish we would have done a little more. Okay, excellent. And would you recommend this to your friends, family, people back home? Yeah, for sure. Uh, how come? Because uh, it's a great experience, and it really shows you a lot more of the world. Excellent. And everybody's so nice here. It's it's a cool change of pace. Awesome. And uh, would you come again? Oh yeah. Uh, and that all for the same reasons? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lizard right there. Oh, well, we might have to get this lizard. It's on the tree. Oh, yeah. Just a little. See, this is the kind of stuff you get to see in Barbados. Okay, Dante, thank you very much. No problem. Hope you feel better. Thank you. All right, Chris, so tell us. What do you think were the best two things about Barbados? Best two things about Barbados, for sure, absolutely no matter what is the people that's first and foremost although we're in a beautiful place it's still it was still amazing to have the change of pace where everybody was kind nice and uh respectful to you all the time and just helpful all the time and then i absolutely loved the beaches the water and the transport system i know i'm the only one who probably absolutely loved it but the whole time that we were going on that bus at like 50 miles an hour down a road that we shouldn't be going. I was giggling the whole time. I love speed anyway, so. And then what about the cruise? What two things do you like about the cruise? Uh, the cruise, my favorite island, my favorite island was St. Uh, Saint Lucia. Uh, that's because uh, we went to all the different places. It was like a big adventure. It's also my least favorite island at the same time because it was way too high and the people were kind, the, not the people, the vendors were kind of pushy, but we only got a small sampling of the people, so I'm not really sure about that. And then I really liked St. Thomas, uh, the water in the beach that we went to there. I think that was Cambrola, maybe that was <laughs> Cambrola there. But anyway, so that area, that it was like swimming in an uh, aquarium the whole time that we were doing it. But I did not like the island itself in that it was kind of dirty and that the um, this time the taxi people were a little pushy. Okay, and if you could do something different, what would you do different about this trip? If I could do something different, I would, um, I would make sure I brought antibiotics for my kid. I would make sure that everybody beforehand uh, had done a little bit of physical fitness so they could keep up with me. And uh, lastly, uh, 
make sure that I had scouted stuff each day of somewhere about halfway through I figured out that I needed to scout it stuff for the people who didn't like to just go off on you know on bonsai stuff well, yeah. and final question would you recommend it to family and friends at home hell yes and I'll be coming back probably within a year myself so I'll definitely be coming back sounds good thank All right. you very much now checking in our luggage where at And what are you guys doing back here? Dying. <laughs> Trying to not get sick. Trying to not get sick? You're trying to do what? Again? Find Wi-Fi. Oh my <laughs> god. Ha, ah, connected. Where's your phone? In my purse, but it's it broken. The ocean ate it. <laughs> Here, one of the two pieces of electronics that did not make it back from Barbados. <laughs> My drone is the other. You look thrilled, folks. <laughs>